Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Wally Gator, IBEW Inside Journeyman Wireman. Got this channel up for you travelers or want to be travelers or just curious. Show you how I'm doing this traveling as Union Electrician. All that wind and solar out there, you see. Well, you can't see the solar. Is what I've been working on for the past 18 weeks. So it's coming to an end. And uh, they had a big layoff last week. <clears throat> and uh, there's probably only one more week left. Yeah, this is the week of uh, end of week 18 for me. Probably one more week, so it's probably going to be 19 weeks on this solar farm up here in Lena, Illinois. And uh, I'm headed up to Wisconsin since we're off Saturday. Tomorrow, this is the first weekend off I've had in a few weeks. So uh, I'm going to go up here and do some scouting for uh, public land deer up here in Wisconsin, not far here from the job, probably 30 miles, and uh, see what they got up here. Actually, the deer season starts tomorrow for uh, archery, bow and arrow, and crossbow. So uh, you never know if, uh, if I look around at this public land and it looks like something I may want to do, I may go ahead and buy me a bow and arrow while I'm up here. I've got one, but it's back home. Uh, I didn't think I'd be up here this long uh, without going back home first. It's been a few weeks <clears throat> so I didn't want to bring everything uh, because Illinois doesn't start till October 1st so hey, it won't, won't be nothing to just buy a cheap bow and uh, their license is a lot cheaper than Illinois also in Wisconsin a lot of times as these jobs come to an end uh, a lot of guys get asked to stay few more weeks or a few more days to finish up the job because you can't have everybody exit all at one time there's uh, <clears throat> not enough work for everybody to stay but there'll be enough work for a few people to stay I was asked if I wanted to stay so I did because I'm trying to push it right all the way up till the beginning of deer season and then when I get laid off at the beginning of deer season that's fine I'll take off and not work and just uh, deer hunt for a few weeks or a couple months and uh, some other guys said no nah, they don't they didn't want to stay uh, Matt said no nah, I don't want to be moving the sea crates which is the, uh, the little trailers break area trailers I guess disconnecting them and moving tables and chairs and microwaves <clears throat> stuff like that he was like nah and what it is is since that's not electrical work you know a lot of times uh, electricians you know they don't want to do any other kind of labor work you know some guys don't mind I don't mind I don't mind doing labor just labor and uh, sometimes that's a, a needed uh, relief a break from doing the uh, actual electrical because uh, you gotta know a lot of stuff when you're an actual electrician so all you young guys who are striving to be a, uh, electricians journeyman wiremen even traveling journeyman wiremen you got uh, uh you got to know a lot of different things and have a lot of different tools and be able to run those tools uh properly and uh with a lot of knowledge there are a lot of other trades that don't have to uh <clears throat> be this diverse but we electricians are able to uh at least the good ones able to do a lot of uh different types of electrical work uh, through the IBEW and through their uh, trade and uh, through their uh, learning through the apprentice program that uh, we've all been through. See how all the landscape is so uh, pretty up here and <clears throat> vast you can see a long ways and this is flat ground good fertile soil you can see forever up here some of the sunsets and uh, landscapes are some of the prettiest you've ever seen up here in northern Illinois. And uh, I see why they want to put solar and wind up here. It seems like the wind's always blowing and the sun has been shining a lot on us here lately. I think it does get a lot of overcast after uh, 
once winter gets here in fall but uh as of right now buddy it's very few clouds in the sky and a good place to put a solar field on a big flat area like this for a lot of you apprentices who are striving to be a uh, an electrician right after high school and all that <clears throat> Remember this, you can be more than an electrician, you can be a business owner of electricians. You can be an electrical contractor, don't forget that. Take business classes where you can and learn all you can and be ready to go and do anything at a moment's notice and uh, strive to be an electrical contractor. The IBEW will help you and uh, a lot of the contractors you've worked for through the, your apprenticeship they'll send you work. You can even open up your own uh, one-man shop. Uh, you sign an agreement with the IBEW to use union labor and uh, you can hire out apprentices or wiremen as these jobs grow for you and uh, you uh, grow your business from one man to sky's the limit. A hundred men, you never know. And the future is this solar and wind I'm seeing it everywhere up here. More talk about other jobs coming up and all these different uh, solar farms being built, even bigger than the one I just worked on here. And uh, this is my first uh, solar uh, job. And a lot of people, it's their, even us older guys, it's their first or second solar job they've ever done. So uh, you young guys who were out there on it, we had these solar helpers and uh, there were uh, soon to be apprentices trying to get in the program, trying to get into the local unions. They are starting out here doing this, so they'll have a lot of knowledge as uh, their career builds and grows in something that's uh, only getting bigger and bigger. The uh, solar and wind energy. Energy is where it's at right now because uh, the world needs uh, more energy, more more power. I mean, we got to charge these cell phones for all these teenagers, you know, can't, and us adults. You no, know, we can't go 10 minutes without a phone uh, on our side or being looked at. So we got to keep them charged. So we need a lot of power. Just kidding. I'm thinking we're going to need coal and natural gas and nuclear and solar fields and windmills whatever else may be invented and come down the line. Look at this landscape in Wisconsin. Is this not beautiful? <clears throat> Fall is in the air. It was cool this morning, like 48 degrees. It uh, warmed up to 77. And, uh, this is Friday, so I got on my Hawaiian style shirt, my epi cap to match it. And uh, we had a good long day today, good strong day. Uh, we had to put up a few more panels. We had to put tags on, everything's gotta be labeled. Remember this apprentices, label everything. Everything you need to know which, uh, where it's going on one end and where it came from on the other end. Always label everything. Simple is uh, simple is fine. Uh, but of course, you'll get with your journeyman and see how they want it labeled. But there's nothing worse than getting to the end of a wire to uh, wire things up, and you don't know where it's coming from or where it's going to. All that different stuff. I always have it labeled and keep things. Keep good notes and remember what you're doing. If you're focused on your buddy and trying to impress him then you're not going to be paying attention to a lot of important things you need to know. So one of the most important things I can tell you young guys, you apprentices, is pay attention. Pay attention and know what's going on. And if you catch something uh, wrong, let your journeyman know. Yeah, so one thing uh, that is uh, a plus on being a uh, traveling Union Electrician is going to different events that you normally wouldn't have went to. And over the past weekend, I went to the uh, 
an NFL football game and went to the Bears versus the Packers. And uh, the Packers won that game. And uh, now I'm up here in Wisconsin and all I see is yellow and green, it looks like. Maybe that's why the Packers chose those colors. Uh, everything up here is soybeans and corn. It's turning yellow and green. Or it's green and now it's starting to turn yellow, but it's like everywhere, everywhere you look, looks like Green Bay Packer colors. So anyway, yeah, I went to that game. Uh, seat was a nosebleed seat, but uh, it's something I had never done and uh, wouldn't have done it if it wasn't uh, being so convenient, being out of town, order my ticket over my phone and uh, paid for it. The day, I bought the ticket the day before the game and uh, went on to it and uh, man, it was fun, exciting. So uh, I'm looking in the next home game is like uh, the end of the month of September up here for the Packers and uh, I, may, I may be going to it if I'm laid off at that time. And uh, I think that would be fun, go to a Packers game. So anyway, I believe I'm going to end this video now as I head out here to this public land to do some quick scouting and look around, see what uh, see what it looks like. This is marsh and swamp land, and I've never really hunted marsh and swamp, so uh, it's going to be something new, and that's what the exciting part is on being a traveler is uh, getting to go try new things and it's uh, pretty familiar because uh, it's deer hunting but I've never hunted this type of way in a marsh so uh, I got my hip waders and uh, try, I'm going to try to go back and go to some places uh looks like people don't really go back to because, uh, because it's so uh, thick and wet so we will see so anyway Love all you guys. Give me a thumbs up. If you watched the video, give me a thumbs up. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, leave a comment letting you uh, let me know how, how I can improve this. I'm trying to grow this channel and uh, show you young guys, even you old guys who have never traveled, how to uh, travel around and uh, make it easy, simple, easy, and let's go get that money. So come on, guys. Let's go get that money. Love you. Goodbye.